Hey everybody. Hi, it is Wednesday, April 29th, and we are going to finish up this, I don't know if you want to call it a dresser or a nightstand or a side table or whatever it is, but it belongs to Matt. It goes on his side of the bed. Hey Matt. Hello. And so we're going to get it finished for him. Um, we're going to put some white wax over the gold texture. I actually already did the white wax on the top of it. So um, I am going to show you how I use DIY wax and kind of how the difference in the textures and what you're going to see. So as you pop on, I just want to say hello. I'm so glad you're here. Happy. Um, we're right in the middle of our week. Thanks for the hearts already. Thanks. Hi, bub. Um, so my name is Dion Woods and I'm the owner and artist at the Turquoise Cyrus and I try to come on here every single Wednesday and um, Sunday. Hey, Michelle. I'm running a couple minutes late because Facebook wants to disconnect. Do you see that map? Is it frozen? I not even, can't even find it. It's disconnecting. Hey, hey, hey. So we, um, we're we finishing this piece up, guys. We've been working on it for the last three times, I believe, that we've been on. Uh, you can see that it has a nice little shimmer that it did not have until last time because we rolled on that golden ticket over the whole piece it's curled off to the sides and we're just going to add the white wax tomorrow i will give it a nice buff with my brush and we will be completely finished i'm very happy with it we ended up using uh, water lily as our base color and um, facebook i'm sorry if you're having trouble it seems like you you are but when i wax i always have a cloth with me because especially with colored wax I'm always worried that I'm gonna get a little bit too much paint on my brush and so I keep a cloth handy as so when I blot it on my my um, like if you have this much that's too much <laughs> just FYI that's a little bit too much it's gonna go on too heavy it's gonna be too wet feeling and it's just gonna cover up a little bit so I take it and I, I literally just scrape the top lightly off on my container whether I have a big one or not hi lolly lolly um I don't know if we're on Facebook it is basically showing that we're not do you see us yet I don't um, know if Facebook is acting up it's, yeah it's just acting really weird all right you guys might are you on the right uh, on the right to Wi-Fi? This, yeah this phone stays in here all the time I never take it out so it's definitely here um, Matt your dresser is gorgeous Irma said <laughs> so I, I wipe it off and then I also blot it on my towel a little bit before I start the application um, but I want this, it, the gold is just too, too stark. You know what I mean? It's a little bit too shimmer. And so I'm going to take it down a notch and the white wax over the gold ends up giving it somewhat of an iridescent look, which is of course always fun. You're on here in Georgia. Well, thank you, Donna on Instagram. I appreciate you. Um, we are just going to get going. And this one has a lot of trim, so it's a little bit different. A little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna move pretty quickly. I love the way that wax gives extra texture and a little bit different, you know, like a different look. It gives more depth and def definition. Um, and sh it, you're able to do a lot of fun shading. But if you've been following me a while, you know I'm a huge fan of the white wax because of the softness that it adds to my bright, bold color. But if you feel like you get it too heavy, you can always come back over the top of it with clear wax and it kind of acts as an eraser. Um, Facebook is really acting up. You guys, if you're on, you're trying to listen to me, you might want to hop over to Instagram or to YouTube at the Turquoise Cyrus. Um, yeah, the Facebooks is giving us a little trouble tonight. It's having a little bit of trouble. Did I say something wrong? You said something really odd. You said nat. I don't Facebook. know if anybody knows what nat is. Nat. So I'm going to, I'm going to It's the of, opposite of day. Okay. That's enough. I'm going to take my cloth and just kind of make sure there's no big clumps. So, um, today was a fun day guys. Uh, I released my part of my summer series, the first blow up, blow out or first introduction to my summer series of handbags. And I actually added two scarves. Did you guys see those? Um, Two scarves, silk scarves to my collection, and um, I've got three more bags actually coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I got a question for you. Sure. I think it's a Brianna like. Hi. 
Hi guys, white wax is my thing right now. Big project, completed, yeah. wiped off, redone too many times. LOL, does heavy application for decorative purposes ever cure fully? DIY white wax question. Does it ever cure fully? I would say 100%. A wax is going to cure fully within 30 days. But from my experience with the DIY wax, it'll be dry in 24, day, 24 hours. I'll buff it and then I'll end up staging it and be able to put things back on it. Um, Mr. Gavin says, hello. Hi, Gavin. How are you, buddy? Tanya Morrison says, hello. So, um, also, Matt and I launched the uh, YouTube subscription group and we start Friday with our first video. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna so do? So if you, we've already released the schedule today as well. Um, so our, we released like the whole schedule for the whole six months, you guys. Um, so uh, it's over on YouTube. If you have any curious what it, what it might be like, the schedule's posted to those that have joined, but I also went ahead and posted it to those that are curious under the community tab. Um, and I might also post it on Facebook for if anybody's interested, but. We are going to start our first video at 7 o'clock p.m. on um, Friday night. So, Matthew, you better get ready. We have the whole schedule for six months. Six months. Yep, yep, that's right. So, I'm this gonna, side has white wax. I'm in it to win it. We haven't done this yet. I did go ahead and do the top earlier just because I knew you wouldn't be able to see from the angle very well. Uh, I do apologize, Facebook. I have nothing to do with it, but that is frustrating to try to watch it. Okay, I think it's, it's coming up. It's just blurry. It's coming up. All right. So remember, I'm not doing too much. See right here? You can tell that I actually feel like that's still too much. So I'm going to go back and kind of blot it. Um, I have a question, please. I need to paint my chair with gold. is isn't easy. And where can I find gold paint? Oh, you can find gold paint so many different places. You can find it at a hardware store. But I use a particular brand called DIY Paint. Um, and we have one called Golden Ticket that's my favorite. No, Miss Dion is painting this for Mr. Matt. Oh, you're talking, you must be answering Gavin. No, Irma Rosales says, Matt, if you don't like your dresser, I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> well, here's the thing. I have one on my side of the bed, and I have to do the uh, mine just like this, you guys. So I have another one that's going to need the exact same treatment. So I won't do that on camera. That would be extremely boring. But uh, I'm going to do mine. And I'm just trying to keep us from having to buy new ones yet. I haven't decided if we want a new bed and... You know, these deserve a makeover before I just totally replace them, right? I mean, I'm all about recycling and, and ch giving them a new look. So i got to see if I can like them for a few more years. We're trying. Well, I mean, considering we're, you know, got to re repaint the walls. And I've got to redo the walls. i got to put up new the curtains. The furniture. And the, yeah. All the, the good stuff. We bought these 11 years ago, two homes ago. And it's been good furniture. Yeah, and I, I really still like the size. I like that we have a matching set. You guys know how hard it is to find a matching set when you prefer older pieces, and I do prefer older pieces. Uh, Angela Stilwell, what do you recommend to fix a crack on the top of a dresser? Um, Matt loves to use Bondo, and he started using that last year when it was recommended to him uh, by several people, and that's what we put on... The last few pieces. Bondo, you, where do you get it, Matthew? I uh, usually get it uh, just at any uh, automotive store. Or Walmart probably carries it as well. The uh, I go I go to O'Reilly's, and uh, they have all different size of cans there, so that's where I go. Okay. And it's fairly easy, right, Matt? Yeah, it's, it's easy. I've actually... Have I done a video on it? Yes, I oh have yeah, you did do a video. Yeah, on the, it's on. There's a YouTube video under um, under my name on my, under my subscription. Uh, Susie Susie Chilber, do you Hi. think you'll be able to really match them? Um, Susie, you've got to know me well enough to, better than that. I do not want to match them. Actually, <laughs> I hate things that are matchy matchy. But I'm going to do the same color, so it won't. It will not be like me looking at it to trying to compare it or anything. I'm just going to do the same colors. I have never been able to duplicate a finish or a, an art piece. It's too hard to do. So no, I actually would prefer them because 
things wear differently no matter where they where they are the use of certain people um, so no Susie I will not worry a thing about whether they actually match or not but I will use the same colors so you can see the difference how much brighter this is compared to how much this I can't wait to photograph this but the one thing is I usually try to get my hardware at Hobby Lobby because I want like agate stones and um, they're still closed so I won't even be able to put new hardware on here just yet so Lana York's on here honey would you like for her to contact you no. about mailing no what is that the wrong person am i thinking of no she and i have already talked this morning oh, very good all right i'm a little late to the ball game sorry about that that's okay well hey yo is somebody uh, saying Shaw, hi is the gold is somebody saying available hi? to buy now because i couldn't find it and I just ordered a couple of weeks ago from Debbie's. Um, it should be available. I haven't heard that it's sold out. Um, I'll be honest with you. It's available on my website, but we're out of it. So we would be, we would, you can order it on my website, but we'd be drop shipping it to you from, directly from the warehouse. Um, it would be faster that way. What's going on here? What is going on? I'm putting wax on. You got in my way. Call her to go lay down. Hey. Hey. <laughs> she was laying down behind me. She wanted to come see what we were doing. All right. I'm just going to get this piece finished. Got beauty showing up tonight. Hi, beauty. Uh, looks like Facebook finally kicked in. Well, it's literally come on and off four different times. You guys, Facebook has, has been struggling. It's come on four different times, so... Yeah, Delisa Dixon, she says, ah, Abby. Hi, guys. It's been a fun day. Released some new pieces and, like, new purses. Uh, what else did we do? Website released yesterday. Brand new website. Um, totally a whole new look. I'm so excited about it. Thanks for those that clicked on the turquoiseiris.com because um, I noticed you guys clicked over there yesterday. A lot of people did. Michelle, thank you for clicking the link for the new summer bags and scarves. I appreciate you putting the link up there. You have to keep leaving and coming back. Betty, I'm so sorry, I don't know what the deal is. Same room, same phone, same everything. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, Laureen Waters, yes. Um, the brand in particular, I use just uh, the Bondo brand is what I typically buy when I go to the automotive store. There's some, there's some in that cabinet if we wanna show them. Isn't there? I no, think there's a can of it no, right here. It's, it's, no, know. okay. So lots of fun stuff going on. Um, just trying to get back into a new normal. So what did you do tonight, honey? Would tonight? Would you like to tell them what you did this evening? I got to go watch my son and his girlfriend take prom pictures for a prom that's not there. But they still dressed up. And his girlfriend was able to um, wear a couple of different dresses, and uh, we went downtown and a sunset, and the, the beautiful buildings, and they just they got all dressed up and um, took some pictures. So that was a lot of fun. So even though they don't get to do a prom they're for their senior year, they'll have some beautiful photos. And they've been dating for a long time, so it was really fun to go watch them. They're they're both. Uh, well, let's just say they make really nice photographs. <laughs> so that was fun. And I just walked in and I was, I think I was a couple minutes late because um, I was rushing to get back because I'm always on at 8.30 and I don't like to be late. So I, I got here. That's a pro not a problem as so long as I can see you. Thank you, Betty. Uh, yes, Tonda Mullins. Uh, I think she's asking what was the inspiration for the piece? Girl, I didn't really have inspiration for this piece. It's just going in our bedroom. I thought in the teal curtains though, right? Yeah, I, I added the um, teal acrylic to, I, you know, I dripped it on there because I plan on having turquoise teal velvet curtains. Yeah, we're going to paint. We're going to paint. paint the walls. And I have brand new bedding that we got for Christmas. So the, the room's undergoing a makeover. So, to be honest with you, these are the first things that we painted in the room, that I painted in the room. Gavin would like to know, um, is Elijah going to get married when, they're, when he's done with college? 
Um, <laughs> Gavin, that's a great question. That is a great question. They've been they've been together for a pretty long time, but um, they will start college in the fall, and I guess we'll just see how it goes from there. They're both wonderful children. Love them both. But it, it, I, I, there, I did have a moment when I was watching the pictures being taken that this was my son, who's almost 19, and uh, I was just trying to relish the moment and not get emotional or anything like that because that's not what he needs to see. Um, but I think they're going to go ahead and have a graduation in June, hopefully. Um, Oklahoma is opening back up in the next few days completely, I believe, so... Um, Lisa Dixon has a question. Hi, Miss Lisa Dixon. She would Dixon. like to know, uh, do we get to see the bedroom when you finish it? I would say absolutely, Lisa. I will definitely take photos. My main thing is I don't want to paint the walls. <laughs> and Matt won't paint the walls. So um, the bedding is a white velvet with navy and teal in kind of a blush color with several other colors too, but a floral pattern. And then there's a navy velvet coverlet. So. Lisa Dixon on Facebook. I'm not sure if the if they're called roller or furniture skates. They very well could be. Oh, I like that word. Let's call them furniture skates. That, I mean, yeah, that's fantastic actually. I, I don't know if you can Google that and it, and it pulls them up or not specifically. So I really don't know that. It's a good question. I've seen them called furniture dollies more than anything. You guys, Facebook's having a hard time and I'm sorry. I have no idea what's going on tonight. Blame it uh, on Matt. Blame it on Matt. Yes, Donna on the tube. She said, Dion, you might be able to order your a gate knobs on Amazon. Um, I can check Amazon. That sounds good. I never thought to look there. I usually check Anthropology too. Um, but they don't even have any, and uh, I need six of them, and the other piece needs six, so I need 12 of them, so I don't want to spend like $20 per knob. Um, I just don't. Don't see any reason for that. Here's a good one right Thank here. you for that tip. I will check it out. Maggie Fletcher. Which high school? I graduated from Putnam City, the original, 1969. Class, hey girl. class of 1100. Class of 1100. So we are Southwest Oklahoma City, almost to the Tuttle Tri-City area. And um, his high school is Westmore High School. And I think West 89 was the first year, right honey? 89 or 88 for Westmore High School. 89 was the first year. Okay. Uh, Gavin's got a good question. What's up, buddy? Uh, he says, Mr. Matt, I... Your, if, if your wife asks you to fix something, or do the dishes, or paint, something like that, something like paint a bedroom wall, you have to do it, or else you'll have to probably sleep on the couch for a doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt, Gavin thinks if I ask you to paint the bedroom, you should paint the bedroom. Well, you would think so, Gavin. But he says I paint so much better than him. She is a much better painter. She's much more efficient at it, much more clean. I would probably ruin a lot of that's, stuff. That's fake. And she would get that's fake. really, really mad no, at me. No, that's all fake. He and would so, not. And so even if I did paint the walls, that's I probably fake. would still have to sleep in the doghouse. No. Because I would make such a mess. You're so goofy. You've never slept in the doghouse, nor on the couch. <laughs> Mm. But Gavin, thank you for that. I appreciate you being on my team for that and saying, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, so what I still have to do, the, the, we, the piece has, oh, Abby wants to get in all up in my business. So I want to bring you closer. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Oh, you guys are blowing them up and I appreciate you. Um, Abby, come over here, sweetie. <laughs> I'm going to scoot this forward for a minute. I'm going to give you just a little bit better view. I want you to see all the colors, and I don't feel like you can see all the colors from far back. Okay, 
So you can see where that teal that I was talking about that we dripped and then we also sprayed the yellow um, from the bottle. Now we, we have, um, it does look like a lovely shade of gray. Yeah, there's absolutely no gray on here and it doesn't look gray at all. So um, it's definitely blues and there's a kissing booth, which is the fuchsia. There are um, yellow and teal all down in these grooves. And when you take that and then you put the golden ticket over it with the white wax, oh my goodness, passionate pigment. Dion, did you Passion ever paint murals on the boys' bedroom walls when they were little? I painted stripes. Sister, $20? Come on, sister, that is too much. Thank you so much, honey. You are so amazing. I appreciate you. Did you hear that? $20? Okay, there's a dog here again. Um, I love your lives. Will you come back in a day or so to buff out the white wax? You know what, Rebecca? I probably will not just because I feel like that's boring. Um, but I can kind of show you what I'll do. Just a sec. Abby, take the show. Yeah. Abby, do it. Do a dance. Oh my goodness. Passionate pigment, sister. Okay. So this is what I'll use. You don't have to use this, guys. If you just have a cotton cloth, that is gonna work okay. But this takes the job and makes it so much easier. And I love when tools make my life a lot easier. Um, it does look like cotton candy and it's a... Sister, honey, I, what, you want me to scrub your face? Huh, want me to scrub your face? So this is called the Buff and it's from Paint Pixie. Um, <laughs> then we also have the Buffy and it's a smaller one and so it's going to be really good for just kind of getting in the edges and up and underneath some of those areas uh but well i usually like to give it 24 hours to dry and then um low. yeah and then uh it gives it like a, a great sheen and creates that just that good solid finish that helps it resist the moisture so anyway that's what i'll do i probably won't come back on here though i feel like y'all are probably I'm tired of seeing it. Happy birthday to Janet's daughter. Oh, you oh, that. I did. Happy birthday to you. The video just cleared up a lot. Betty, I hope that that helps. Um, the other things that I needed to show you, Matthew, I would love for you to go get the things off the sofa, the blue sofa, and bring them in here, please. We have a blue sofa? We have a blue velvet sofa. I, I'm just thinking here in the next six Can you go get months, them really quickly? We are going to have just, everything's going to be blue. Everything is pretty much blue. Our walls are blue, but they're a very light shade of blue. Um, I love the golden ticket on it. Thank you so much, Junk and Daisy. Um, so like I said, I'll be using this, but I need to show you guys the things that I just added to my website for my summer collection. The two, three purses, four purses, and um, two scarves. So I posted them on my website at theturquoiseiris.com. And uh, I'm just so excited. And they're on the new website too. Uh, looking for, for, um, for questions or anything. Almost everything I have is blue. Same girl, Missy. <laughs> um, just as a reminder, the YouTube group, we will have our first video Friday night, Central Time. Um, at seven o'clock. Okay, first one, guys. First so what, one. What are we doing our first, our first go around with the group? We are having a discussion. It's kind of like an intro as to why we're doing it and how they can also find their why. So it's a Q and A. So a little bit, a little bit. But I posted the schedule, honey. I can't believe you haven't read it yet. I haven't. I haven't received my email. So this is our first tote, and it is called Love Language, and it's up on the website. It has two large pockets, and I'm thrilled. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled with it. So it's the same painting, but I did a little bit different with uh, the placement of it. Um, and then I have, this is Sweet Pea. So this was one of my original paintings. And um, this is one of my leather bags. You know, I did a spring collection and I had four different styles. And so right now I have to, I'm introducing two styles, but I'm, for summer I'm getting like bigger totes. Um, I still have three on the way, but I adore the Sweet Pea. It has the gold chain. Now this print on the back, I made a mistake and I ordered the wrong, the wrong print. So it's gonna actually have a different print. <clears throat> you know the painting that I did recently, um, last week and it had the red sky 
and it had the wildflowers with the poppies and you guys watched me do the the blue bonnets the poppies uh, what else do we have on it cosmos and um, that print is going to be on the back of this purse so anyway it's available now too on my website and then this one is passion and it's again it's one of my paintings that they've printed on the leather very well made this is our um i think we originally started these back in october so it's been been a while and i love the quality of them and then this is maui 2 on the other side so this is exactly the way this one will come the lighting on you on facebook is so wonky right now oh thank you so much shaylan this is so much fun i just turned into a kidney candy store literally scarves literally. people scarves so these are georgette silk and this is love language as what well. What is Georgette silk? What it's is just that? a type, baby. It's a type of silk? Yeah. I see. So it's printed on here. Oh my goodness. Isn't it fun? I thought these would make um, just nice gifts. But then again, I was telling everybody, you know, what would be nice? One of these days, I want to be one of those. Honey, watch this. I want to be like driving like a convertible and tie my hair back and have like big glasses and be so chic or so vogue, but I don't think it goes like this. Uh, but I was showing everybody yesterday how beautiful I thought it would be. Maybe with a little, you know, something a little different. And then this is Sweet Pea. I actually had Sweet Pea printed in a scarf as well. Shay Lance says, you seriously have my dream job painting furniture and designing bags. Woo! Big red heart poop poop. Red heart, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. I am having a lot of fun, but I'm super happy with these. Uh, she, she said, oops. <laughs> oh, no. So anyway, those are those are our new styles. I just put them on the website today. Um, and Alan I was, would like to have a painting on a hat. You would like a painting on a hat. I could probably do that. Um, like a ball cap, you mean? I think so. You know, I would wear a I, ball cap. I don't really, I don't think Gavin's going to wear a scarf around his head. You don't think so? I don't, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Let me put my cap back on, you guys. Lolly Lolly says, I can see you in a classic convertible with the scarf on and sunglasses. Yes, girl. Yes, Gavin, would, Gavin was going to put in a request for a ball cap. Well, okay. I will take that into consideration, but, um... You would definitely see me wearing it because you guys know I love my ball caps too. So anyway, this is love language, the scarf and the bag. And um, oh, Matt, you didn't get the, the last one. That's okay. It may be sold out. I've sold a bunch of the other one. Um, okay, super. You guys, you have any more questions? Laugh, sing, dance, play, happy girl. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So I'm going to finish. This one's going to be done. I'm not going to bring it back. Um, we will probably... We will be back, back on Sunday. Inside of my bed. You know, we need to. I need to hurry up and get this finished so he can put his lamp off of the floor. Um, I wore the little neck scarves quite a bit in my early twenties when they were really, really popular. Um, but I think that they add such a really great touch to a wardrobe too. So um, Betty, we'll be back Sunday. Betty, yeah, Betty says she always wore scarves when I was young. Yeah. They're so beautiful, and it's like hats. I love wearing hats, too. Um, so if anybody has any more questions, just please join us. Come back on Sunday, and I believe I'm going to actually start a great big canvas. You guys know how much fun I have with my five-foot canvas, five-by-four. Um, we're going to get in there. We're going to start a new one and kind of work through the process of doing some abstract. And um, Now, Cooper says your link is not working. My link is not working. Which platform are you on, sister? We're on the tubes. Uh, okay. Well, um, are you going to scar... Good night, Gavin, honey. Have a good night. Tell your mama I said hi. Vintage Vibes is on here. I wonder what link is not working. I apologize, but what we will do... Um, can you show the other side of the sweet pea purse? Oh, yeah. I did, but I said it would be coming out different. Um, this is the other side of it right now, but this is just the sample. Um, the ones are gonna come in with a different print on it. So I don't have that print. It's that painting I did last week that was called Let Love Grow. And it was the red sky, and it was the one that had the cosmos with the poppies and the, um, 
the blue bonnets, it's actually going to be a little section of it on this purse on the other side of Sweet Pea. Yes. What's a, so excited. What's a duvet cover? It's a duvet sugar. Oh, is it French? Is is du, duvet He's French? all mine, guys. Duvet French. <laughs> It's a duvet, honey. It's a duvet cover. Um, I will be back, of course, uh, not tomorrow. I have a free webinar tomorrow that I'm working on, but Friday night, I will be here for Friday Night Live with Queen Allen of All Shabbed Out. And then Saturday, we might be on Saturday. We're really just kind of depending on how the day goes, um, but it will uh, check in. We might be on Saturday, for sure on Sunday. Okay. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I thought you were done. Uh, Kathy Buckley on the Facebook. Okay. What color did you put on the top left drawer? She missed it. The color on the top left drawer. I added white wax to all of it. It's all the same. Um, it might look a little different, but um, I have a water lily, and I have hay sailor, and I have kissing booth. And then I added a teal acrylic from a water bottle, and then I sprayed on yellow, which was our liquid sunshine. Then I uh, rolled on our golden ticket with a brayer and some plastic wrap, and then added the white wax tonight. But you can watch all of these on the playback, guys. If you will go back to um, YouTube, they're there. They're our last videos. Facebook, they're still there too. And Instagram, actually, I'm sorry, you won't be able to watch them, but um, they only stay on Instagram for 24 hours. All the products can be ordered on my website. I would love if you would go like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the membership group, I've posted the schedule under the community tab. Yeah, one lady, Jan Henderson, is how much is the group on, on The one on YouTube, YouTube is $9.99. It's $9.99. You do it all through YouTube. I don't have anything to do with like the payment or the billing or anything like that. It's, a, it's completely different than my creative connection on Facebook. I just, there's so many people that have, that they'll reach out or they'll join the Facebook group and then say, well, I don't have a Facebook. And then they're like, well, could, if you ever decide to do something on YouTube, let me know. So we're finally jumping in there and doing something just for YouTube. Um, yes, Janet got her painting and her parents bought it for a gift. It's good vibrations make her feel very happy. It's hanging in a living room. It's called Good Vibrations and I actually, um, did that one with some watercolors and some acrylics as well. It was a really fun piece to do. How much? Um, it's it's $9.99. I think you're talking about the group. Thank you for all the hearts, for blowing them up, you guys. And um, we'll see you for sure for Friday Night Live on Facebook right here at the Turquoise Cyrus. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. Thanks again to Miss Passionate Pigment. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you're liking and following her page she's an outstanding creative artist all right guys are we done i i, are I gotta we? have a late dinner i'm starving i'm i'm good yeah i'm I glad had, you guys had, had a dinner had, but I had plenty of elijah and i were since he was taking pictures we did not have a dinner so uh good night everybody i enjoyed it i have a couple of new actually i have three new painting canvases that i'm going to work on you can see one over here i've got the background over here on youtube you can see um, the, just the background of a pot with some ferns and stuff growing. So I'm gonna work on that tonight after a late, late dinner. Um, what's for dinner? Probably a warmed up bean burrito with some cheese and some guacamole black and some bean. salsa, black bean burrito that I make and just roll everything in a tortilla for myself since Matt already made dinner for Ian Holden. What'd you make? We had Polish sausage with a hint of barbecue. A hint. We had the By Heather Watson famous a mac and cheese. Annie's famous mac and cheese. With a hint of bacon. With a hint of bacon. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't have eaten that anyway. So what we do is we put it in a bowl, mix it all together, and eat it. There you it's have fantastic. it. Fantastic. Matt the chef. And Elijah is um, eating probably wherever he is right now. And I'm going to make a bean burrito. I'm going to come back in here and work on this uh, painting over here. So take care, everybody. Have a great day. And I hope that your Thursday is wonderful. See you later. See ya. See ya. Say hi. Bye, everybody. Bye, Shaylin.